doesn't need a great tool storage system. Well, check out Ridgets when we get back. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tool Reviews. Today, it's all about Ridgets tool storage. Now, this is not brand new to Rigid. Rigid's had some tool storage mobile carts for a while, but they've just released a couple of more, and there's more to come. Specifically, we've got a 28-inch mobile storage box and a 22-inch organizer. Let's dive in, take a closer look at each one of these features and some of the specifications, and then, as always, we'll come back and we'll wrap it up with pricing, warranty, and our final thoughts. So Rigid is expanding on their tool storage capabilities or their tool storage options. And what we have here is a 28 inch mobile toolbox or mobile storage box. And then we also have a 22 inch organizer. Now let's dig into the 28 inch, just show some of the features here and see what we think about it. Obviously you get a very uh, impact resistant uh, plastic box here that by the way, lifetime warranty on these as well. Uh, another thing I noticed right away were the metal latches here, very solid locking latches, uh, also capable of putting a lock through here. So even the hasp there is metal as well. Uh, so the top half obviously is all of uh, the impact resistant plastic, but all of the latch as well as the, ha the hasp for the lock to go through is metal. So on the handle here on the top, that's a rubber overmold. So you get that feel of, of rubber, if you will, not exactly the most comfortable in the world, but it's definitely not uncomfortable, gives you a better grip than being just plastic. Now on the front side here, we have a telescoping handle. So we see we have wheels here on the back. We'll look at those here in a moment. Uh, but we have a handle that not only tucks away inside the, uh, the width of the box itself, but also we can pull it out several inches, pick up on that and walk away with it, giving it more leverage and making it easier to pick up. You do have a hundred pound storage capacity on this. I'm sure we could exceed that with no problem and not have an issue with that. Now we have a few indentions up here and those are for these other boxes to attach to. And we'll show that here in a moment as well. Let's look back here. It looks like we have uh, probably a four inch wheel. We'll measure that real quick. Yep, uh, three and a half inch wheel. Same thing here uh, as the handle, not exactly a rubber tread, but it's more of a rubber overmold. So it's got a little grip to it. Feels a little better than plastic. Um, but it does have a solid feel to it. Again, three and a half inch wheels. Now we see these metal hoops up here with the uh, with rubber on them. Now that's actually to lock in these other storage boxes. And we'll show that here in a moment when we add the, add to this. But wanted to turn this around and we'll show here these rear hinges. Again, we got this impact resistant plastic. Uh, and then we have an actual metal pin going through here connecting these. Now when we raise the lid, under the lid, we'll find a waterproof seal or water resistant seal. So we get a really nice and flexible uh, foam rubber seal that is going to actually seal very well against this ridge here around the top of the rim, making this water and dust resistant. We get a little tool organizer here on the top, which by the way, had a couple of these boxes. So that fits in half the side. And if you wanted to add another one, they will set two of those in there in that one box. Or you can take them out and uh, use that without it. And these organizers will easily stack together and lock together as well. Something else I noticed on this box is this little divider here. It looks like you could probably cut a piece of half inch plywood, maybe a little thinner and be able to slide that in there to divide these two sides if you wanted to, if you wanted to separate the two sides. We know this is a 28 inch box, but total internal storage space is about 25 inches from this internal handle recess here to the other one. So a little less than 25 inches and height. Uh, you're looking at right at nine and a quarter inches as far as interior height and what you'll be able to stack in there. And of course, of course, that would be without the uh, little tool trays in there also. And uh, and then your width uh, right at uh, looks like about 10 inches of a little more than 10 inches of total storage or of uh, open storage. Uh, a little more if you look here on the edges. Um, so right at 11 inches here in these wide openings. But of course, in between uh, these two pieces here, that's only going to give it a little more than 10 inches of, of storage space there. Now let's take a look at the smaller 22 inch organizer. 
We see inside here we have uh, six different uh, small organizer containers. Obviously those can be removed if you want to. And then we have an internal compartment here that's open for whatever we want to put in there. This internal area is nine and a half inches by 11 inches. So that, uh, that center area there, nine and a half by 11, and it looks like depth, probably somewhere around four inches. Yeah, just short of four inches. Of course, you do have a recess here, so you should be able to fit something that's four inches in there without having a problem. Also, obviously these can be removed, but they also can stay. And the indentations here in the top of the, of the lid, they're going to keep these boxes aligned here, these organizers aligned, as well as keeping things from overflowing and falling out. Once this lid is closed, it's going to keep all those separate. Just like the 28 inch storage box, we have a large uh, foam rubber seal here. that's going to seal against this plastic lip right here, keeping this uh, somewhat water and dust tight. Now also in here, obviously we can remove these boxes. But in addition to that, we can also remove these dividers here. So we can move those out of the way. And if you wanted one big open area, now you've expanded this uh, to 20 and a half inches by 11 inches. So gaining you a lot more room to put tools and whatever else you need in there. Or again, you could just stack one side uh, with your smaller organizers and put the divider in and leave the other divider out. So you've got some, uh, some different options as to how you want to set your box up. Now let's take these and join them together and see how they connect. All right, so we're going to take the smaller 22 inch organizer and we're going to stack it with the larger 28 inch storage box. You can see these, uh, these small feet here. Uh, they are going to line up with these indentions here in the box and you can kind of find it on its own where it locks into place or actually kind of falls into place and uh, doesn't move anymore. We have these metal hoops here and they're going to lock into the indentions here in the box. So they're going to give a positive lock and a snap. And now this is locked into place and it's not going anywhere. Pretty easy to do. I, I will say not only does it lock in positively, where it's not going anywhere, but it's pretty easy to do and pretty easy to unlock as well. But I don't think it's going to just come unlocked on its own, even from shaking around. So again, flip that hoop off and carry your box away or easily find those indentions, flip your locks up and you're good to go. And then obviously we can add to that as well. So we can add a third box on there and again, lock that in. And now we're ready to go with our full load. To put it simply, it's quite simple. Yeah, that was pretty bad. But that's my point here is it's tool storage or it's part storage or it's whatever you want it to be storage. If you need to store things and also if you need to take them mobily to Mobley, is that a word? It can be today. Anyway, when you have to take these from place to place, this is where these really shine. But also, it may be a place in your shop where you can stack these up and put them away. And I think Rigid's done a good job at this, especially at the price point. So the price point of the 28 inch rolling storage box or whatever they're calling this is just 56 bucks. I think it's $55.98 at Home Depot. Now the 22 inch box is only $32. So you're looking at all in with both of these less than a hundred bucks. So you're quite a bit cheaper than some of the top tier, you know, mobile storage solutions out there, but yet these are a lot more rigid. Yeah, I said it, but compared to the more DIY products or semi pro products that are out there, these look a lot nicer and they're not near as flimsy. They've got a really nice feel to them as well as structurally. They're much more sound. I like the connection points of these. Uh, they're not flimsy. They're easy to snap on and off. Uh, no, they don't have any kind of latching spring loaded mechanism where you have to tr trigger and pull them out or anything. Um, but I think they're easy to do as well as they positively lock into place and they're not going to go anywhere. They also have that dust and, uh, and water resistant uh, membrane or foam rubber seal around them. It's going to keep water out, dust out, keep your tools or parts protected, whatever you're storing in there. Hey, check them out. They're available now at the Home Depot. You can also find them at homedepot.com. As I mentioned, 
We're going to see some more items that will be connecting to these as well. Um, but I really like this little, you know, mobile tool cart. I like the extending handle that gives it a lot more leverage. You can easily pull this around the job site or around the shop or wherever you need it. So check it out for yourselves. Also, keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. If you don't mind, would you hit that like and subscribe button, but only if you liked our video. Hey, if you hated our video, by all means, give us a thumbs down. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day and keep smiling.